Bonds Valley girl. finally hit the field Thursday after being held out of the Giants starting lineup the previous three games. Attended hitter Lily delivers. Bond swings and it's a high drive. A mile down the right field line. Soaring through the dark Chicago day and on to Sheffield Avenue. You know Barry had been in an 0 for 21 slump. Resting with a sore lower body. All is fine in Barry Bonds world. 752. Career three shy of Hammer and Hank, and it's the first home run to reach Sheffield Avenue all season in Chicago. Ted Lilly would like to have that pitch back. Giants, though, still trailing the game 4 1. Oh, yeah, there was a ball game. It's still 4 1 in the third. Here's Bonds with the bases loaded. Did he? No. But he did knock a flare in the left center. The drive's in a pair. Giants within a run. Barry would have all three RBIs for the Giants in the game. Cubs answer. Jason Kendall was batting Matt Morris' pitch off the shoulder of Benji Molina. He can't find it. Matt Morris had to go over and get it himself. The Floyd able to score from second. On to the seventh. It's a 9-5 game. Bonds back at the plate. Two on, two out. Lou's going to pitch to him. And Bonds hammers the Will Ullman pitch. I mean, that's almost to the roof. But on a 3-2 pitch, Dwayne Kuyper, FSN Bay Area. Here's the pitch. Bonds hits one into center field. A ton. Jones back. Jones looking up. It is out of here. Bonds pulls the Giants within a run at 9-8. That's Barry's 19th homer of the season. As if anybody cares about that part of it, right? 71st multi-home run game in Bonds' career. 753 of his career. Two shy of Hammer and Hank. As for Ullman, he can tell his grandkids he was the 443rd different pitcher to allow a home run to Barry Bonds. Giants still trailing. Last chance. Ryan Cusco grounds out. Bonds, Giants go down 9-8 to eight despite two home runs and six RBIs. Dodgers swept the Mets in their last visit to L.A. The East and West division leaders hooking up again. Derek Lowe, great ERA, but hasn't been able to win his last four starts. Sean Green, Mets already had a 3-0 lead in the first. Gets under Matt Camp's glove. Two more runs to score. It's 5-0 New York. The next hitter, Ruben Gotai. For a 5-0 game, Gotai singles in the left center. That was for Green. It's 6 nothing Mets. 6 nothing Mets in the first. Ought to be plenty to get Tom Glavitt career win 299. Glavitt stuck on 298 heading into this one. And here come the Dodgers. In the bottom of the second, Matt Kemp with a man on. Get out of town. Fifth homer of the year. All of a sudden it was 6-4. Top of the third. Mets now up 7-4. Marlon Anderson against Derek Lowe. He singles up the middle. I mean, really, just about everybody singled up the middle in this one. Go tight and Glavin score. It's 9 4 Mets. Bottom of third. Glavin's out after two innings, 10 hits, six earned. Base is loaded. Romano signs. Flies out to right center of Aaron Seeley. Luis Gonzalez tags and scores. But Carlos Delgado cuts the ball off, throws the third to nail Nomar. That's what we call it. Double play. Every starting position player had at least one hit, but again, no 299 win for Tom Glavin. Phillies and San Diego Padres got it on in the game of interest. Bottom third, Brian Giles up, runner on second. Giles takes Hamels pitch to the opposite field for an RBI double. I believe that's the only run Cole Hamels has allowed all season. He's been that good. Jeff Blum scores. Padres up one zip. Chris Young dealing. J. Roll, no. Greg Dobbs. Softs. Young Sevings pitch six Ks, no earned runs. Hamill's doing his thing just fine, allowing just the one run into the seventh. Mike Cameron goes down swinging. Hello, Green. No, Hamill's Sevings pitch three Ks, but the one earned run, that's going to prove costly because in the ninth, Trevor Hoffman comes out. You know, he's got a million saves. Strikes out Dobbs for the second out of the inning, and the next batter, Carlos Ruiz, swinging to end the game. And in the ninth, we got the big man as well. Padres win the pitching duel, one zip, one's all you need. All right, the Tigers looking to broom Rotten Garden Island. The Twins right out of their own ballpark, trying to put some more distance between themselves and Minnie. Watch this. Bobby C. the wild pitch. Justin Morneau was heading home, and the ball bounced right back to the backstop. Morneau caught the pickle. 
Morneau comes home and scores, or did he? He's called out. Watch this. Morneau clearly leans into the Bobby C throws. Was called out for interference there. Tigers catch a break. Joe Nathan on the mound. He's grounded in. Ames drives one to the right center. Timo Perez, the MVP of the AAA All-Star game, just called up, comes around to score. Take a 4-3 lead. Todd Jones looking for his third save in as many days. Pasado Polanco, the flip to second. That's dropped by Carlos Guillen on the transfer. So Mauer is called out. Tigers do sweep, but all three games by one run. Indians Rangers, Cleveland out on the road after what was a miserable homestand for them, just 3-3. Three three. CC Sabathia trying again for his 13th win, 0-2 in ERA of 10-6 in his last few starts. Kenny Lofton stung the ball all night, and it just kept finding a glove. Josh Barfield starts a double play. Grady Sizemore in the fifth in a 4-4 game. Uh, not so much anymore. Sizemore, you know, he was out here with us in sports one night. He's never been back since. I'm not sure why. 16-5-4 Indians. And now look at this. Frank Francisco, Ben Francisco, the Dominican against the Californian, and Benny from California grounds it through a drawn-in infield. Darko scores. 7-4 Indians. Bottom nine, Joe Borowski. Sammy Sosa swinging hard, missing big. Borowski's 27th save. Indians win 7-5, and Karsten Charles gets his 13th win. Sox, white and red. They waited nearly two hours prior to starting the four-game series thanks to the rain. Daisuke Matsuzaka to A.J. Pruszynski. Fists one in the right. That scores Jim Tomey. That was after walking the previous two batters. Top of the sixth. Matsuzaka in a huge jam after walking the face is loaded. That one-two pitch to Brzezinski is, is close. And then the next pitch, Brzezinski singles through that scores a pair. Matsuzaka falls to 11 and 7, walk 6. Manny Ramirez shot to center. Jerry Owens, that is a very nice catch by visiting center fielder. Next batter is Kevin Euclid. And Ryan Buckbitch gets him. Red Sox have lost 8 of their last 11. Javier Vasquez is 4 0 his last six starts. Blue Jays Yankees, a fierce battle to finish second behind Boston in the East. Bottom first, Bobby Abreu up after the first two guys walk. Drives one into the gap. Johnny Damon, Derek Jeter now required to move a little faster to get home. Yanks out early, 2 0. We go to the seventh. Still two zip. Frank Thomas right back at Chin Ming Wong. Andy Phillips gets it. Tags Thomas all as well, except Matt Steer scores. It's 2 1. Next batter, Aaron Hill. Climbs from the right center. There's the milkman. Melky Cabrera can't get that one. Vernon Wells comes in to score. Jays tie the game 2-2. Wong has never lost to the Blue Jays in his career. 3-0 and four career starts. Next batter, Greg Zahn. He hits one to center as well. That's a bit of a rally right there. Hill comes in to score. Jays up 3-2. Win 3-2, doing all of their damage in the seventh. They will not be swept at the stadium. Do something. Tampa's taking the first two and a loss to Texas, making three bad decisions in a row for the Halos here in the fifth. Akinori Iwamura strikes out. BJ Upton swinging. Escobar seven and two thirds. Shut up, ball five Ks. Top six, we have two on. We have one out. Angels up one zip. Garrett Anderson. Oh, look at that. He's going to be so happy at the family reunion. Two are going to score. Vladimir Guerrero, Gary Matthews Jr. Guerrero's 1,000th career run as the Angels win it 3 0. Cardinals and Braves, Andrew Jones having a blast in July. Six homers in 14 July games. He had 12 in his first 79 games. I told you he loves July. Mike Barak doesn't love wearing a Cardinals uniform. 0-3 since so joining the Cardinals. Watch this. Tony La Russa is going to come out to talk to him. Not take him out of the game, just to talk to him. Barak tries to hand him the baseball. Barak allowed 10 earned in five minutes. And then Julio Franco, he's 48 years old, just activated. That's a two-run single. And the Braves go on to the 10-1 win. More bad news for the Cards. This much more long-term than just another loss. Ace Chris Carpenter will undergo Tommy John surgery next week. Carpenter hasn't pitched since starting the season opener. He'll miss part of next season. Thursday, the Diamondbacks in Milwaukee. Giovanni Gallardo looking for his second win of the season. D-backs down 1-0. Gallardo gets Connor Jackson. Will strike out there. And in the fourth, Tony Graffinino facing Levon Hernandez. Graffinino, Graffinino is going to win that one. His eighth of the season. Don't drink and slide. Brewers take a 2-0 lead. More from Gallardo in the fifth. Chris Young's going to try this guy out. You know what? The crew going to be all right. 
until Ben Sheets gets back. And Yardo continues to put up six innings pitched and no earned runs. Bottom seven, two on. Brewers up 6-1. Graffinito again. Doubles to left center. Johnny Estrada, Jeff Jenkins to score. Graffinito, two knocks, three RBIs. The Brewers win a 10-1. Bonds coming Friday. Oh, that's right. Sports Center's top plays, number 10, Fred. Cardinals Braves. Tim Hudson hits it to center. Jim Edmonds. Hey, back in the lineup and looking good. Hopefully he didn't hurt himself on that one. Let's go back to DL. At number nine, the Tigers and Twins. Sean Casey pops one up to the foul territory. Acuto falling backwards to make the grab. Twins lost an extra. All right, number eight, when John McDonald is not winning national track and field and cross country championships for the University of Arkansas, he's making great plays in the field for the Jays. Will Nieves, you do not have a base hit. At number seven, Rockies Nationals, bottom 10, D'Angelo Jimenez up the middle. Austin Kern scores. Jimenez was one for 25 with zero RBIs before that game winning hit. Number six, Indians Rangers, Johnny Peralta fly to center. Kenny Lofton. It's, it's almost like he said, you know, you go long and I'll hit it to you. It was a perfect bomb over the shoulder. He caught it and then touchdown. Couldn't double up by anybody off second. Really. The British Open. Here's Tiger on 16 from 80 feet away. He shoots and get out of the way. Scores! Woods at two under. He's four off the pace after the first I think round. they do that in meters over there, actually. Number four, Reds Marlins. Miguel Cabrera drive to center. Ryan Creel falling, catching. Reds winning 7-5. Grass stain, that'll come out. Indians win. Number two, British Open. Lee Westwood. Second shot on 15, staring it down, and that, in a word, is luscious. Oh, 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 the Eagle. West run leader. And there he is, sitting on 753, facing Jeff Supon. And the reception, as one would expect. Here's it everywhere but San Francisco and his living room. And here come these specially marked baseballs as Bonds goes for the record. Top of the first two on one out. Bonds anticipating a force play at second. Doesn't quite come out of the box explosively. Does late, but it's too late. He thought he was safe, but he asked teammates in the dugout afterwards, was I out? And they said, yeah, dude, you were out. Top of five now. Bonds, after walking in his second at bat, he pops up in his third AB. Change of speed and bonds out in front. Bottom five now, the Brewers trying to hold off those surging Cubs in the NL Central. JJ Hardy to right. Here comes Ricky Weeks. Guillermo Rodriguez is the Giants catcher. Boom! Packer fans hope that Brendan Jackson runs like that this year. Ball goes out of play. And since Corey Hart had just run in second base, he gets two bases as the throw came from the outfield, and he gets to score. Watch it again. Rodriguez would stay in the game. Brewers lead 4-3. Two to seven, Bonds up. His team down by one. Carlos Villanueva. Bonds, for a second, he thought, maybe I got enough of that one, but he did not. Tony Gwynn, the catch. Bonds 0 for 3 and a walk at this juncture. Later in the seventh, here come the Giants. Rodriguez got bowled over. Bloops that one in. Two run score. Giants lead six to four. One more at bat for Bonds against Derek Turnbull, the hard thrower. Bonds, can he turn around the fastball? Well, look what this one is. Boy, veteran used to get those cards. Not anymore. Bonds 0 for 4, walking to K. Giants win, and Omar Vizquel takes one for the team. Brewers lead over the Cubs down to two. Ballpark Mets scored a season high 13 runs in Thursday night's win in Los Angeles. Had Oliver Perez on the mound. Perez has been pitching great, although this isn't a great example of that. Nomar in the bottom of the second, the blast. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair. Garcia Powers third home of the season. Here's Roberto Hernandez coming in the pitch at the top of the eighth in a 1-1 game. Jose Reyes leads off, and he does so with a double down the left field line. So the Mets have something going again. 1-1, speedy runner on second, nobody out. Here's Hernandez's next pitch to Marlon Anderson, of course. Lays it down, sacrifice bunt right, except the throw is too low. And that allows Reyes to score. So the Mets have a 2-1 lead, so nobody out. This is Hernandez's very next pitch to Carlos Beltran. His 18th of the year, Mets score three in the eighth. They win, but lose Jose Valentin. Broke his tibia, but he fouled a pitch off his leg. Ouch. 
All right, the Padres on baseball's worst batting average. The Phillies in the league and run scored. Yet they kind of flip flopped in the standings if you look at the records. Adrian Gonzalez loops one down the left field line. Brian Giles scores. Milton Bradley's headed for third. There's a collision at third between Bradley, Adam Eaton, and the umpire, huh? Eaton's trying to cover third, taken out by Chris Guccione, the second base umpire who came over on the umpire rotation play. Sure. Eaton stays in the game. Guccione stays in the game as well. Top of the fourth. Phillies have a 3 2 lead, two on, two out. It's Eaton, the former Padre pitcher, won 47 games as a Padre. He says the RBI single Phillies a 4 2 lead. Chase Utley, how about Ott? Guys hitting 446 with 15 RBIs his last 12 games for the Phillies, with their second win the last six. Paid a visit to the Twins. Here's Vladimir Guerrero. Top of the third. Sean Figgins on first. Vlad, broken bat single through the right side. Now Figgins trying to stretch it to third. Falls down after rounding the bag, trying to get back. Jason Bartlett throws it in the center. Figgins gets up, heads back to third. Donald McDonald airmails that throw, but Carlos Silva cuts it off. Figgins has to hold the third. There were five errors between the two teams in the game. Justin Morneau in the bottom of the third. That's a two-run shot. Morneau's 26th of the year. How about the Angels? They haven't had a single home run in 13 straight games. Figgins, the pop-up. Nick Puto sprinting over in that bullpen area. The over-the-shoulder grab. Angels do get a run on the play. Their last of the game. The Twins, 7-5 winner. That's good news for us. Outstanding this year. It was on display again in this one. First, the Mariners need some offensive help. They're down by one in Toronto. However, Adrian Beltre hit 400 over his last 12. It's his 15th homer of the year. 2-1 Seattle. Top of five now, 3-1. Jose Guillen, pretty good pitch there from Jesse Litch, but serves it to left, and Ichiro scores. 4-1. John Gibbons, oh, four. Bottom six, Blue Jays down 4-2, and Frank Thomas did not think he swung there. At least asked for help. Unhappy with the call. Later, Sean Green pitching. Aaron Hill, he thought he checked it. Tim Timmons says, don't argue. Don't talk to me, John Gibbons. God! John Gibbons, one of the best face-to-face -face arguers in all of baseball. He and Ned Yost for my one-two right now in all of baseball. And there goes Gibbons. He's gone. Meanwhile, Green gets the strikeout. Reitzma came in. Puss got his 29th save. And the Mariners beat the Blue Jays. Another strong bullpen effort. All right, the Indians in Texas. Top of the sixth, we pick it up, one nothing Tribe after Victor Martinez, third double of the game. Travis Hafner, get out of town. That's his 16th homer of the season. Extends the Indians' lead to 3 nothing. Fausto Carmona, Ooh. normally good during the day, <laughs> just okay at night. This was a night game. He was great. Eight innings, three hits, no runs allowed. Casey Blake with the bases loaded. Brad Wilkerson says, I don't think so. Keeps it 3 nothing. Bottom nine, Rangers rallying. Marlon Bird Browns the third. Blake gets one out of third. Can't assume the double play. The throw to first is high. Two batters later, Gerald Laird, the ground is short. Mike Rouse boots it, runner scores. It's 3-2. Joe Borowski, though, strikes out Wilkerson, and the Indians able to hang on the one six in their last seven. So here you go, the American League West wild card standings up to the second. Told you the Brewers losing to start the show. Great news for Luke Pinella and the Cubs. They're 18 and 5 since June 22nd. Bottom six are down by one, but Aramis Ramirez scores Mike Fontenot. Fontenot, just a great spark plug for this team. Two for three in this one, scored three. Stole two bases. Next batter, Jacques Jones. He'll score Ramirez. Cubs back up 3-2. Jason Marquis, another solid effort for him on the mound. Bottom eight, boy. Ramos Ramirez has been nothing but good for the Cubs since they acquired him from Pittsburgh. Home run totals 38, 31, 38, and now 16 this year. The Cubs have won 19 and 24, 7 and 1 since the break, two and a half back in Milwaukee. Months the Royals are 22 and 18 since June 1st. Looking to keep it going in Detroit with Gil Mesh on the hill, undefeated in his last six starts. But in the bottom of the first, Gary Sheffield. Not paying any attention to those stats. Get out of town for Sheff, his 23rd of the year, tied at one. 
Mark grubs a lot. He just owns Kenny Rogers. He'd go three for four against Rogers. Career batting average against the gambler of 643. Nine for 14 against him. Rogers overall roughed up six and a third. Five earned. Billy Butler lines a base hit in. Butler, four for five and four RBIs. Royals have won four or six. A 20 and 23 record since June the 1st has cut Boston's AL East lead to seven games. The smallest it's been since May the 12th. Looks like they got off to a good start in this one against Chicago. Bottom one appears to be a, a three-run homer for J.D. Drew. Thank goodness for Red Sox Nation looking for Drew to... Whoa, what's going on? Manny Ramirez tagged out at home. He's out. Inning over. Terry Francona says, wait, that ball clearly went over the fence. Very odd shelf since they put the monster seats in at Fenway Park. And you can see it clearly goes over the red line. That means it's a home run. In the past, umpiring crews have gotten together and, and gotten the call right. But here, Tim McCullen's umpiring crew, which is normally good, gets the call wrong. Terry Francona trying to light a fire under his team as well. Gets run by McClellan. Meanwhile, the Red Sox offense looking for a big hit all week. Gets one from Coco Crisp. Down 3-1 to one after Jim Tomey hit a three-run homer off Josh Beckett. Coco Crisp bases clearing triple his only hit of the game. Later, David Ortiz down the right field line. David, no more head first slides. You're a big man. Slightly hurts his shoulder. Strange shoulder, they're calling it. Meanwhile, Beckett went six, struck out 10 for 114 pitches. Bottom eight, still a three run game, but Julio Lugo. Grand slam. He's hitting 400 in July, 22 for 55. Beckett is 13 and three, and the nation exhales. Well, the Devil Rays did a number on the Yankees in the Bronx, and that number was 14 as a run scored. See, Mike Messina, he's never lost to the Devil Rays career at Yankee Stadium. Uh, here's a hit. He lost this one. In the third, Carl Crawford, that's an RBI single. Devil Rays up 2 0. Next batter is BJ Upton. And up into the upper deck for a two run shot, his 10th. Upton would hit another home run later in the game. Devil Rays had a 4 0 lead. Out of the fifth. Brendan Harris up with a runner on. Harris shoots one in the right center. Upton scores. Devil Rays up 5-0. That's it for Messina. Four and two-thirds. Seven hits. Six earned. Edward Ramirez be called into relief. How's that relief? Deanna Navarro, his first career grand slam. 14-4 Tampa Bay. Ball brought the cards in all sorts of trouble trying to close out the Braves. Albert Pujols been swinging a hot bat, for example, off Chuck James. Get out. 415 feet, 21st jack, fifth in his last eight games, and tied at one. Top of the eighth, Juan Encarnacion singles to left. That'll score a run. The Cardinals have a 2 1 lead. In that same inning, it was 3-1 Cardinals. Runners in the corners for Aaron Miles. Grounds for Kelly Johnson. Throws Miles out at first. So Taguchi going to try to score from third. Julio Franco throws him out at the plate. Taguchi takes out the home plate umpire, Gary Sedestrom, who comes up strong to call Taguchi out at home plate. And the chipper at the plate, at Jim Edmonds, doing what Jim Edmonds does. And the Cardinals do hang on with 4-2. But Dodd is not a good pitcher. He's a great pitcher. He was on the hill in Oakland, top of the first against Mark Ellis. Check out this. Mike Piazza activated off the DL in the starting lineup. The A's would probably like him to do well so they can trade him. 0 for 4, 3 Ks in this one. There's Kelty. Eric Bedard leading the American League in strikeout. Johan Santana has each of the last three years. Before that, it was Randy Johnson back in the 90s. Bedard 27 more than Santana. Also pitching a no-hitter in this game. Gets Bobby Crosby there. 9 Ks through 5. Bobby Kelty bottom 7. Strikeout number 10, there's strikeout number 11. So we had a no-no for a while until Ellis homered, and the Orioles behind Bedard win 6-1. to Obviously, number 10, as your Anderson never does. White Sox against the Red Sox. Juan Uribe pops it up. Jason Varitek spinning around, making the tough grab. Red Sox, a rare blowout winner, 10-3. Number nine, Mets and Dodgers, David Wright. Look at Nomar. Uh, still has baseball's best head of hair and a great arm. 
Third baseman on third baseman crime. The Dodgers would lose, though, 4 to 1. Oliver Perez pitch well for the Mets. What a little style there for a second. WNBA at number eight, Sacramento Monarchs, San Antonio Silver Stars. How about Helen Darling of San Antonio? The drive to the hole, the splitting the defenders. Number seven, Chase Utley can hit home runs. He did in this game, and look at them all out. Uh, the heart of the Philadelphia Phillies, Chase Utley. Phils win 7 to 3 and 7. U.S. Bank Championship with the Open going on over there in Scotland. Here's the uh, U.S. PGA event this week. So worth a lot of money, still worth a two-year exemption, still get to go to Kapalua. Look at Heath Slocum. Oh, second shot on 18. That would have been a double eagle, more rare than the holding one. At number four, the Astros and Pirates, Jack Wilson flies the center. Hunter Pence is hanging out there. Pence sliding behind Chris Burke. Could have been dangerous instead. It's just a great catch and a 2 1 win. Indians, Rangers. Ryan Garko to center. Marlon Bird. He's the only Ranger hitting lately. Him and Kenny Lofton. The rest of the team not hitting at all. And there. For two. And what Meg White is to the White Stripes. Ryan Spielborg is to the Colorado Rockies. Look at that catch. Robbing Brian Schneider of a probable home run. And the Rocks win. 3 1.